Well, hello guys. It's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my Flavor Twisters doing today? I hope that you're doing well. What we're going to do today, Flavor Twisters, we are going to make some delicious braised beef short ribs. And we're going to serve those short ribs over some buttered parsley potatoes. So, here are all the delicious ingredients that we're going to be using. First of all, in front of you, I have about five pounds of beef short ribs in this container. I have a stick of butter. I have some olive oil back here. I have some, a half, a, it was a large white onion. I chopped up half of it in here. I chopped up three carrots. I have celery, three stalks of celery chopped up. And I have about seven cloves of garlic that I pressed in here. I have some better than bouillon beef broth, the beef um, base that I'm going to be adding to the beef stock. I have a bottle of red wine. I have onion powder, garlic powder, seasoning, salt, paprika, and ground black pepper. In this bowl, I took a tablespoon of onion powder, tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of seasoning salt, a tablespoon of paprika, and a tablespoon of black pepper. So what we're going to do, guys, we are going to season our short ribs, and then we're going to braise them and brown them on all sides. But after that, I will be showing you what we're going to do, how we're going to make our butter parsley potatoes. Stay tuned. Hi, guys. I forgot to show you this. I didn't have it on the counter. I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of tomato paste. I have some fresh thyme and some fresh rosemary. And I have a bay leaf here. And I'm going to put some, use some kitchen twine and put the rosemary and the thyme and the bay leaf. Tie that together. And we're going to be adding the tomato paste. And I forgot to put this on the counter. I'm sorry, guys. But we'll be using these ingredients also. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, we have our short ribs here on the cutting board. And I'm going to take that seasoning. And I'm going to put it all over these short ribs. And I figure if you mix your seasonings up together, you don't have to sprinkle them individually. It's easier that way. And you want to put a lot all over it. And we're going to rub this into the short ribs. And flip them over and do the same thing. Okay. Mmm, yum. These are going to be so good, guys. And we're going to put them over those butter parsley potatoes. And a lot of people serve them over mashed potatoes, which I like mashed potatoes also. But... The butter parsley potatoes, it's a um, different way of doing it, um, a newer way of doing a potato. Uh, this is the bone side, so I'll turn them on this side to kind of season them. And these are just some real, two little small ones. I guess that was the end, and the butcher, the butcher just said, to heck with it. <laughs> he just threw them in there anyway. Okay. But they're nice and meaty, guys. Really are. Okay. So, and what we're going to do, before we braise these, I'm going to put them in a coating of flour. And they are really going to be delicious. I'll put some on the bone, too, once I get done seasoning the meat side. Okay. Rub it all in. And this is another holiday meal, guys, um, that you can use. Um, I don't know whether you know it or not, but my family, we are not turkey lovers. So a lot of times on Thanksgiving, I end up making Cornish hens or something like that. Um, it's just something about turkey. Um... When uh, 
we eat it on Thanksgiving. We don't want it anymore until next Thanksgiving. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I mean, turkey is delicious, but I guess some people just, you know, you want something different. You know what I mean? Okay. And like I said, the corny shins. They do. And then what I like about that, I'll um, see who's all coming. And everybody gets their own bird. And they are really delighted about that. So, like I said, this is another holiday meal that you can fix for your family. And um, they'll be glad that you did. I mean, just it's all kinds of things out here that um, you can fix different. It doesn't have to be the traditional um, meal that you make. Okay. So, let me turn it down bone side now. But I made sure it wasn't any membranes or gristle or anything. I trimmed all of that off. So, but the butcher is pretty good. Um, a lot of times, I don't have to trim anything. They just do it for you. It all depends on where you go. So, okay. So, now... These are all seasoned. Now I'm going to get the flour and we're going to coat them in the flour before we braise them. Okay. Alrighty. So these are nicely seasoned on all sides. These are going to be so delicious, guys. Okay. Alright. Now let me get our flour. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, we're going to dredge our short ribs into the flour. I have the flour here. And we're just going to coat them on all sides. Okay. See how that's coated? And we're just going to do that with each and every rib. And I have a plate over here. I'm putting them on. And then that way, we can brown them off. Get them seared on all sides. Okay. Here we go. And this is going to make the short ribs get nice and golden brown. So these are those little pieces. <laughs> I'll just dust them in there too. Okay. Alrighty. Here's the big meaty ones. It doesn't take but a few minutes. Okay. And then we're going to get these nice and golden brown on all sides. And get our short rib recipe underway here. Okay. All righty. And they're nice and meaty, guys. Um, these are the bone-in short ribs. You can also get them boneless. It's your choice. Okay. Alrighty. I have one more. And we're going to do that. And we're going to go over to the stove. And get these seared off. Okay, guys. So, meet me at the stove. Okay, guys. I'm over at the stove. And what I have is a tablespoon of butter here. And I'm going to add some olive oil to it. And that way we're going to use this to sear off our short ribs. Okay, here we go. So let this get nice and hot. And we're going to start browning our short ribs. Okay. 
these are going to be delicious guys you're going to really like this recipe okay now what we're going to do is put the short ribs in the oil once it gets hot meat side down so they could get nice and brown it should be getting kind of hot here you see I don't want to get it too high but you want it high enough for it to brown your ribs okay get a nice sear on them okay so I'm gonna start putting the ribs in I may have to do this in two batches put some down in there And we're just going to let these brown. Okay, and I'll put one more. Okay, there we go. And what we're going to do, guys, we are going to let these brown, light brown, and then we're going to flip them and brown them on all sides. And I only have like five more other pieces, but they're small, but I'll put them in after these. So, just let them go about four minutes on each side, and then we'll flip them. Okay, guys, it's been like four minutes, so we're going to flip these over. Mmm, yum, look at these guys. Nice and golden brown. And that's what you want. Okay. And we're going to just keep doing this on all sides. About three to four minutes on each side. And we're going to flip them until they get nice and golden brown on all sides. Okay. Okay, guys. It has been another four minutes. And you see how they're nice and brown. And I'm turning them up on the sides now. Here we go. Get them nice and brown, and I'll put the other ones in, and um, the other two, it's only like five little ones, but they're not as big as these, um, and I'm going to brown those, I'm not going to let you sit through that process, but I want you to see what I'm doing with these, okay, there we go, put the over, Okay, so I'm going to finish getting these ready, guys. And once I get finished with the browning process, we're going to start the rest of our braising process. Okay, guys, our short ribs are brown. And I took some of the drippings from the short ribs and I'm adding two tablespoons of butter to that. Want all of that goodness in from the ribs. And what we're going to do is start searing off our veggies. Okay. So I have the onion here. And I have the celery. And then we're going to add our carrots. Okay. And what we want to do is get these until um, they get nice and soft. Not done. 
and we're going to add our garlic also. And I press the garlic. Um, it gives it such flavor when it's pressed. I don't care what nobody say. You'll smell the difference in your kitchen. So, now let those sear off for about three minutes. We're going to add our garlic and then we're going to add some tomato paste. Okay guys, it has been going about three minutes and I'm going to squeeze in about this one tablespoon, two tablespoons of tomato paste. Okay. We're going to get this all cooked off from here, and then we'll add our garlic. Get it all incorporated with the vegetables. This is going to be so good, guys. Mmm, yeah. Now what we're going to do is put that pressed garlic in here. And you will smell the difference in your house. Okay. Just until it's fragrant. But you don't have to worry. It's fragrant. I can smell it already. And it smells delicious. Mmm, yum. This is going to be so good. Oh my goodness, guys, that garlic. It is delicious. It smells amazing. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to turn this up a little and we're going to go in with the wine. I have some red wine here and we're going to go in with that. And I'm just pouring the whole bottle of wine in guys. Almost of it, let me see. Look, I put the whole one in. And you don't have to get expensive wine. Just as long as it's wine. It's red wine and I got dark red wine. And what I'm going to do is bring this to a boil and I'm going to let it reduce. And that will burn off all the alcohol. So let this come up to a boil. So now this has came up to a boil. And we're just going to let this boil for maybe about five more minutes five to ten minutes and then we'll add our broth and our short ribs this is going to be delicious guys so just let it go you want it to read this okay guys now we're going to go in with our beef broth I have about two and a half cups of beef broth. Pour that in. And what I also have, that better than bouillon beef. I'm going to take a tablespoon of that beef base. Put it in here. And I mean to tell you guys, it doesn't get any better than that. Okay. It's kind of thick, so I'm just raving it through here so it'll come off my spoon. I don't want to lose any flavor there. Okay, now I'm gonna let that come up to a bowl. That's off pretty well. Okay, now I'm gonna let this come up to a boil. Then we're going to add our ribs. Okay guys, that's coming to a boil. And what we're gonna do 
is start adding our beef ribs. Mmm, yum. They should all fit in here. These are going to be delicious, guys. Okay. Mmm, yummy. Look at that. And they're submerged in there, and that's what you want. I'm going to get in there. And these are the little ones, so they should be able to drop down in here somewhere. There they go. Okay. Now, what I did, guys, I had some rosemary, fresh rosemary, and fresh thyme. And I took some kitchen twine and tied it, and I also have a bay leaf in here. So what we want to do is put this down in there. And that way when the ribs get done, you don't have to be worrying about fishing it out. Okay. So I'll put that down in. And what I'm going to do is put a lid on this. And we are going to put these ribs in the oven on 325. And we're going to let them go for two and a half to three hours. But I'll check them after two and a half because they should be fall off the bone when we get done. So, I'll see you in two and a half hours, guys. Okay, guys, I have seven um, little Yukon gold potatoes here. And I'm going to cut these up and boil them for my butter parsley um, potatoes. Okay, guys, I have my potatoes cut up. I have them in a pot. And I'm going to bring these to a bowl and cook them until they are fork tender. And then I'll show you how I do my butter parsley potatoes. Okay, guys, my potatoes are done. And all I'm going to do is add three-fourths stick of butter to these potatoes. And I'm going to put some parsley in, salt and pepper. And one fourth cup of parmesan cheese and that's it and the, see how the potatoes they just break up i don't want them mashed but because i want to have a little bit of substance to the potatoes okay mm, yeah and i am getting ready to take our short ribs out of the oven I tested them after um, two and a half hours, and I said, I'm just going to give them another half an hour um, to get really fall off the bone for tender. Okay, put the cheese in, and that's all you do. And I'm going to put some salt and pepper in this, and... And you'll see they'll be real buttery, guys, and that's how I like them. And I am going to add, like, a little bit of heavy cream to the potatoes. And that's it. And they're good to go. Like I said, salt and pepper them to taste. And you're good to go. Got a quarter cup of heavy cream. Like I said, I don't want mashed potatoes. I just want them nice, creamy, and buttery. And that's all you do. Okay. Mmm, they smell good. Okay. A little bit more parsley. Mmm, yum. Okay, guys, I'm going to put some salt and pepper in these. And they'll be ready to go. For our short ribs, they'll be delicious. And do the salt and pepper to taste on your potatoes. Okay. And believe me, guys, these are going to be delicious. So I'm going to finish stirring these up and I'm going to get our short ribs out of the oven. 
Okay, I'm back, guys. Now, I took our short ribs out of the oven. And... Let me see here. Mmm, yeah. Let's check this out. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. Mmm, yum. I'm going to put them on a plate over here. And then I'm going to have to drain the broth. Look at that. The bones are coming out of them. Mmm, yummy. I can't wait. Okay, and there go my... <laughs> there go my um, spice roll. I'll put that over there. And that's good that you put the twine, the twine on it and that you don't have to worry about fishing around to find it because you don't want to eat the bay leaf. Mmm, yummy. Look at this, guys. Uh-oh, here is a bone. <laughs> I don't know where the, which one it came out of. I think this one. That's why I'm saying they're fall off the bone. They're delicious. And we're going to see when I serve them up with my um, parsley potatoes I did. Mmm, yum. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the sink. Oh, I just lost a big piece of meat. You see that? <laughs> go over to the sink. I have a um, strainer there. Here, These are all bones. I don't know where they came out of. <laughs> That's a piece of meat. Wow. This is how you want them. Fall off the bone. Look at that. I've got bones all in here. So I'm going to have to take these out and um, drain the vegetables and get our broth. And we'll be ready to eat. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have our sauce here. But what I'm going to do is skim some of this fat off of it. Let me bend this spoon a little bit. Okay. Just take some of the oil off the top. Look at that. And I have a bowl here. I'm just going to put it in there. Get some of the oil off. And then what we're going to do is um, let this come to a boil. So it can reduce a little bit. I'm going to put some salt and pepper in it. And I'll see how thick it is. And then um, we can pour it over our short ribs. Okay, this should be pretty good. Maybe one more. Okay. I don't want a lot of fat on here. Okay. So, let me let this come to a boil. It's starting to boil a little bit. Okay, guys, our sauce is at a boil. I skimmed the um, fat off of it. And I'm adding some salt and just some pepper. Because you could taste the garlic and the rest of the seasonings in the sauce. And remind me to get a better salt dispenser. Because <laughs> I'd be fighting with that. Okay, now I'm putting some black pepper. And we want to stir this and give it a taste. And look at that, guys. Okay. Let me taste. Mmm, yum. Oh, that's really good. Really good. Um, I'm going to let this boil just a little bit longer. And I wonder, do I need um some... I think that might be thick enough. I'm not trying to make it a gravy gravy. But it looks like it's pretty good. Look at that. Hmm. So, I'm going to let this go a few more minutes, and we're going to serve up our short ribs. Okay, guys, I'm back. 
And on the plate, I have our buttered parsley potatoes. And I'm going to get a nice short rib here. And the bone's already out of that one. Okay. And here go one with the bone in it. So, but I can show you the bone will come right out. Well, it's coming apart. I don't want to break the rib all up, so I'll just leave it alone. But, um, they'll fall off the bone. And they're really delicious. And I have the sauce here. And I'm just going to pour it over our short ribs. Just spoon some over. Mmm, yum. Look at that, guys. Delicious. Mmm, yum. I didn't have to put any thickener in it. You see, it's delicious. Look at this. Oh, my. Okay. Now, let's give this a taste. I don't believe I need a fork. I mean, a knife. Look at this. Look. Look how the meat just breaks up. Let's taste this. Oh, guys. It's delicious. Look at this. Look at this rib. No, they are definitely fall off the bone. So, so make this for your family, guys. Go to flavorswithatwist.com. YouTubers like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified of all the recipes that I upload. This is Flavors with a Twist version of braised beef short ribs with butter parsley potatoes. Your family is really going to love this, guys. This is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.